Well, well, well. Let us see what is the next best thing that Blender has to offer us. With that being said and done, I will try to show what I have actually pre-requiredly done. What I have done is bring in a plane, bring in three rounded cubes. If you don't know how to bring rounded cubes, go to add, go to mesh and you get this extra objects. And if you don't know how to bring these extra objects, then you can go to edit, go to preferences. And here in the add-ons tab, you can click on extra and here in the extra object, you can click on this tick. That's how you get that extra object. Then I give material like blue, red and green. And if you don't know how to give material, you go to material properties. I have made a special video on it. You can search on my YouTube channel. Uh, so from here, I gave the color to that object. Uh, you can give the color to that object from here and then i selected this monkey object and gave it a metallic object complete metallic removed the specular removed the roughness completely so now we have this object and i am currently viewing it through in the render properties tab i am coming to render engine cycle now this is real time rendering uh, not real time rendering this is a ray traced rendering it is completely and exactly showing that these cubes are being reflected on the monkey but if i go to render and render this image this image will take a lot of time to render this is a very simple image and this is taking a lot of time to render think what will happen if the image is uh, uh, very big think what will happen if there are a lot of things in the uh, shot in the scene then it will take a lot of time lot of hours so that we can change by going to EV but the problem with the EV is the moment I change it to EV EV has the option to show me colors render the shadows but it can't render reflections the moment if I go to render it renders just in a second but I don't get reflections at all what I have here done is take a light increase its uh, radius to 1.5 meter and set up a camera so that I could get a soft shadows will be nice to be view now to bring the reflection back on the monkey what I will do is go to add go to light probe and here I will bring a reflection cube map we want reflection and blender is going to create a map in the shape of a cube which will have a top a bottom a left side right side back side and front side so i will create this cube map remember one thing what i have done is i have brought the cursor 3d cursor to the center of the monkey actually it's like this the 3d cursor is at the bottom of the monkey you have to select the monkey for those who don't know we can shift yes and bring this menu and here i will bring cursor to selected so the cursor will jump in now whatever i add it is going to get added at that point now if i go to add and then go to light probe and reflection cube map we will get this thing and to work to make this thing work we have to go to render properties and here in the indirect lighting this option is way down this option is actually way down over here so i dragged and brought it up here so that it's easy to do it to you and here if we click on bake cube map only the moment i click here reflections are visible this part but the problem we get with this is we get this black spots there is a turn around to this and we can remove this black spot to remove those black spots i am going to object data properties and here you have a few options like you can change the shape of this from sphere to box if i go to x axis i can show you this is the box and this is the sphere you can change it to box you can change the size of the box i will change it to the size of the monkey and we can scale it in y axis scale it 
and still there is no uh, progress in this uh, black spot now if i go to this viewport display this viewport display is actually kept here i dragged it up here and if you expand this viewport display you get this clipping option the moment you click on this you get these lines and this indicates which of the part will get clipped cut off so now the part from here to here is cut off from here to here is cut off here to here is cut off and here to here is cut off that's why we are getting this black spots over here 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 and here now if i use this clipping start and clipping end clipping end is going to affect this part if i change that part it's going to affect the end point if i come over here and change the clipping start i am holding down shift so that i can move it slowly and uh, if i keep this point at such a point that it's out of this head and now if i go to render properties and back the cube map again if you want you can delete the lighting cache and back the cube map again the black spots are gone or is it the black spots are gone on the top but it is still over here why because this dot is still in the monkey's ear in that area of influence of that ear so what i will do i will select the cube map and then go back to the object data properties and further increase this clipping start value and bring it to such a point that it is outside of this monkey then we will go to render properties and here we will click on bake cube map the moment we click this area is gone for example at first it was like this i will go to object data properties increase the clipping start value then go back to render properties and bake cube map the spots are gone now when is this useful it is useful to get blazing fast renders this is blazing fast and if i change the camera you can see the reflections are reflect you but it should be only used when the scene is static you don't have any kind of animations if i change this box if i grab it and move it in the z plane it's not going to refresh over here they are going to bring this uh, feature very quickly so what we need to do is make this cube map again so that it will be refreshed if you change the color of this object it's not going to render as well you have to click on this object and then go to indirect lighting and bake again now each and every time we are trying to bake this object instead of coming over here and clicking this you can do one thing is stick on this auto bake and then just stick on this cube map reflection cube map and tap g and right click it it will refresh so we don't need to go and click on this button every time what we can do is be anywhere in this uh, tabs and just hold this and change the color of the object and then hold the cube map g and right click it's going to refresh this is only used useful when your uh, scene is completely static and you are only moving the camera through the scene so that's where it's very useful and it's blazing fast so have fun with this guys if you like this video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and make sure more of your friends are subscribing to this channel share this video as much as possible so that i could bring such a wonderful research material regarding blender to you as soon as possible if you want you can support me financially through google pay phone pay paytm and beam upi app my phone number is 9049410365 so i would like if you support it as much as you can if you don't want to support me financially you can at least watch ads that are coming on this video completely 
so that the ad revenue generated will be used in blender's research so with that being said try to see it learn it and understand it i will see you in the next video Yeah.